So in this video, we're going to find the equation of an ellipse given its center and vertices. So the first thing I would do in a problem like this is I would immediately just draw a graph given the information that we have. So we have a center of 3, 3. So this is a, the center of the ellipse. And we've got vertices of 3, 4 and 3, 2. That's one pair. So 3, 4 is going to be right there. 3, 2. Oops, 3, 4 right here, 3, 2 right here. Then we've got 0, 3, and 6, 3. Well, 0, 3 is going to be right there, and 6, 3, 4, 5, 6 is going to be right here. Then we can connect the dots in an oval. And that's general, generally what we're working with. Sorry, I can't draw very well. Okay, so. And now we can look at our two, two equations that we have for a ellipse, and we can figure out which one we're working with. We've got this one, where it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Or we have the other one, where we just swap which value gets the a squared, y minus k a squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. And a squared is always, um, well, a, I should say a, is always the major axis. And major just means longest axis of the ellipse. Longest axis of ellipse. And what this means is that if the longest axis goes in the x direction, this direction, then it's going to be this formula because x comes first. And if the longer axis is in the y direction, it's taller than it is wide, the a squared is going to go under the y. Well, in this case, we can see, well, it looks like it's going farther in the x direction, so it looks like we're going to be using this formula. So I would then write out here, we got x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Well, A is the major, the longest axis of the ellipse. So, and you know the axis equals 2A. Axis length equals 2A. So this whole thing is 2A. So that means the length from the center to this vertice is just A. So that value is A. And we know we went from 3, 3 to 6, 3. So that's going to give us a 3. And then we also went, just to check our work, we went from 0, 3 to 3, 3, which is also 3. So that means A is just 3. So then we've got, well, we may as well also fill out the center. HK, that's the center of the ellipse. And as we know that, it's given to us, it's 3, 3. So we've got X minus 3 squared over A, which we just decided was 3, which is going to be 9, plus... Well, then we've got y minus 3, because that's the k value, over b squared. Well, we can figure out b squared. b squared is just the length of the, the distance between the center and the minor vertices. So this is b, and then this value is also b, because the minor length, the minor axis length, equals 2b. Well, we can figure out, well, we went from 3, 3 to 3, 4. That gives us b equals 1. Then we can check our work. We went from 3, 3 to 3, 2. That's also just 1. So b is 1. So b squared is going to be 1 squared. And that's going to still be equal to our 1. And so this is our final equation for the ellipse. We've got x minus 3 squared over 9 plus y minus 3 squared over 1 equals 1. And that will give us the ellipse looking like that. Thanks for watching. I hope this was able to help, and let me know if you have any questions.